Hey there, I'm Keith. I'm Krista. And we're the Duprees. Today we are sharing our Disney pin collection. We've shown a few of these recently. They're newer additions to our collection, so we'll just go through those really quickly and get to some of the older pins that we haven't shared. Um, so to start out, I'll start with um, pins I received in a mystery box that Keith curated for me. Um, we'll link that uh, video down below if you would like to see that. But in that box, we had a Miko pin. This pin is from Box Lunch. This is a Disney Lounge Fly pin. One other pin that I received in Keith's mystery box was actually um, three. Yes, a set of three. It's the three kittens from Aristocats. So we have Toulouse, Marie, and Berlioz. Next, we have the Winnie the Pooh collection from Loungefly. Got good old little Tigger here, sad little Eeyore. We got sweet Mama Kanga. We bought a bunch of these and only got these three ever. But, you know, that's how it works with these pins. Yeah, those mystery boxes, you never know. Never it's a gamble. It. <laughs> One of the other uh, mystery box sets that we previously opened was also a Loungefly series. It was the Floral Sidekick series. And we have, well, they're not sidekicks, but they were part of the collection anyway. For some reason. We have Princess Tiana and Naveen sit at top a bunch of daisies. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Next, we have Cinderella's Little Mice Friends. And I think there's a few little like sewing bobs and um, a pumpkin. Is there a pumpkin? Yeah. There's a pumpkin. Yeah. This one was really pretty. I really liked this one. Then we have a Sleeping Beauty pin. It has the spinning wheel and a couple of the woodland creatures. Then we have Snow White with a little fawn. And you can see the poison apple right below there to um... kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Little Brother, um, this is Mulan's dog. The last pin of this series that we received in the unboxing was Flounder and Sebastian. And we were not able to unbox Miko, but I did do a pin trade and received him in the mail. So we finally have Miko and the sunflowers, and I think this pin is perfect. Another pen trade that we received was this Pongo and Perdita looking lovingly at each other. Oh. This next pin actually came out of a candle. If you're familiar with Wishes Candle Company, they do Disney themed candles and as you burn it, a pin is revealed inside. So the last candle that I burned, I unboxed or... I uncandled. Uncandled. <laughs> This, um, it's a puzzle piece pin and it is from the Shanghai Disney Resort, um, which is really fun, but it's just in the pattern of Mickey or Minnie, I Min guess Minnie because of the polka dots, but it's a little puzzle piece. So I thought this was really cute and it came in the candle. Next, this is a pin that I've had for a number of years, um, but it is Nurse Minnie, which is relevant to my career path. Um, and I thought she looked really cute. She has a pink bow and her scrubs match and she has a little stethoscope and she is ready for work. Ready for work. <laughs> ready to work. That's right. And I'm not even really sure where we got this pin, but I really like it because, because it's Sorcerer Mickey, like Fantasia or Fantasmic. I think it's from the Apple series. Apple or fruit. I think they did just different like, yeah, assortment they, of fruit. Yeah, they had like oranges and stuff like that too, so. So that is all of the newer pins that we've received. We just wanted to kind of do a quick review of those. Some of my older pins I've already put into little shadow boxes for decoration, so I'm not gonna take them back out of those to show you guys, but we'll kind of transition over and show you through the shadow box each of those pins and um, where they came from. And then I have a few pins inside of my pin lounge fly backpack. So it's a backpack where the front is see-through and you can actually put your pins in there to display. I have a few in that bag as well. So we'll transition over and share some of those pins with you as well. Moving over to that now. So here is the shadow box we put together from our first trips to Disneyland in California and Disneyland Paris. In the center, we picked up a Disneyland 2019 pin. It has Mickey and the Disneyland castle. And this just commemorates our first trip to Disneyland in California. So we thought this was a nice addition. 
Our trip in California was also our first experience with Galaxy's Edge. So we picked up a nice Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Disneyland pin to commemorate that experience as well. And then we grabbed a couple of pins that we just thought were really precious. We have Marie from the Aristocats and she's looking really cheerful and she has glitter in her pink bow which I thought was a nice touch with this pin. And then we picked up another um, Disney Animal pin. It's two of the pups from 101 Dalmatians. Which and, ones? Oh, Patches and I want to say Lucky, but who knows. <laughs> And then one more we picked up while we were there is this classic Steamboat Willie pin. I love Steamboat Willie and I thought this pin was really nice. And then we picked up this pin from Box Lunch actually. It's a happy birthday pin. It has Minnie and she's wearing a little party hat. We took this pin with us to Disneyland Paris. We were there in 2019. That was our first time there and we were there over my birthday. So um, I wore this pin on my birthday to kind of add a little extra touch to our celebration. This shadow box here is kind of just an odd assortment of pins. Let's start with the very, very first pin I ever received. This was a gift from um, family members who took a trip down to Disney. It's Rapunzel, she's brushing her hair. There is glitter in her hair as well, so it's sparkling. Beautiful pin, Tangled is one of my favorites. So this kind of started and piqued that interest in Disney pins. At this point in time, um, we had not taken a trip to Disney together yet, and I had still not been to the parks at all. So this was just kind of a nice little gift. Keith took a solo trip to Disney and brought back this next pin set. This was a set of, I think, four pins and also from the Tangled series. So we have Rapunzel, she's leaning on her hand, kind of like she's gazing out the window of her tower, which is a really sweet pin. Um, it also came with the floating lantern with the beautiful purple Tangled sun on it as well as um, a small little uh, replication of the Tangled Tower. And I thought this was really cute. It has vines growing up along the base and the top of the tower is that same beautiful pinkish purple color. And the last part of the set was Pascal. And he is looking cute as always, looking like he's gonna get into some trouble. Next, Disney came out with a Wisdom series where they were releasing um, a different set each month of the year. And there were two of the pin sets that I really um, struck a chord with. And the first one is this pin. It says, You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And this quote is from Winnie the Pooh. It really resonates with me. Um, I love the pink color that they chose for the pin. The set also came with a small piglet in that same pink tone and a tigger. And I loved this whole set because our personalities are very similar. Um, I'm like Piglet, Keith is like Tigger. So I thought this was just the perfect set to grab and I put Piglet and Tigger down by our little anniversary buttons that we received on our anniversary trip down to Disney World that we took um, to kind of just represent um, each of us. And at the bottom there, I also put a little Yin Yang Mickey Mouse pin to represent us as well. Um, the second Wisdom Series pin that I picked up was from the Jungle Book, and the quote reads, Forget about your worries and your strife. Yeah, yeah. Really resonated with me as well, and it is in these dark, like, forest green color. I really like the way they did the script in the pen, and it came with a Baloo and a Bagheera in the set, and they're also in that same color palette. Next, we have a Kingdom Hearts uh, pin. Kingdom Hearts may not be uh, very well known by a lot of people, but it is a 
very fun video game with Disney characters in each of the different levels and scenes. We grabbed this pin. It was a part of the pre-order when we ordered Kingdom Hearts 3 that came out. So we have one pin for Kingdom Hearts but we are big fans. And last in the shadow box, the pin I have in the center um, just happens to be my two favorite princesses. We have Rapunzel and we have Belle. And I thought their animation was really beautiful in this pin and coincidence that they happen to both be together in, in the same pin. So I grabbed this. Their dresses are beautiful. They, their facial features are really nice as well. I just thought this was a, the perfect pin. Here we have my pin bag that has just a few of our pin collection in it. This is a fantasy pin of Atlantis. It has a quote around the outside that says when you hit bottom, the only place left to go is up. And it has Kida in the middle there with the crystal around her neck. And this is a scene where she kind of floats up and the stones encircle her. I really like Atlantis and growing up, my nickname was actually Kida with my siblings. So that was a gift for my sister actually. And I really like this pin. It's beautiful and the blue color is really nice. We also have in here a couple of pins from Wally. -E. Um, this is a new discovered, a newly discovered favorite film of ours. So we have a Wally -E and an Eva <laughs> or Eve, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but Wally's looking lovingly up at her and she's kind of waving and we have another Wally Eve pin down at the bottom that says love and I think they are just the cutest pair. Down in the other corner of the bag I have a little Mickey silhouette. This pin is a Mickey silhouette with white and pink so this is kind of a play on um, the Aristocats. The coloring is for Marie. We've got the pink bow around it and then the little bow up top with the um, little like floof of hair. <laughs> so this was a really cute pin. This pin here is the Beast's Castle from Beauty and the Beast. I think this is a very beautiful pin. It kind of sparkles with the gold. This pin came with this pin backpack, um, which is Loungefly Beauty and the Beast theme. So this was a really unique pin and our only castle pin actually, so really cool. And then our last pin that we have in here currently is a little Lumiere um, to go along with the Beauty and the Beast theme. And he's just looking very cheerful down there, ready to start singing about some food or something. Cheese souffle. S'il vous plaît. Great stuff, it's delicious. And there we have it. So that wraps up our small but growing uh, pin collection. We like what we have and we're excited to look at pins again when we get back to the parks later Definitely. this year, for sure. Um, if you liked what you saw, check out the playlist in the description below to see our previous pin unboxings. Share in the pin love with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.